Hi everyone, uh, this question needs a bit more attention on the exam. Uh, we have a ball, we fire the ball with 10 meters per second, so that's the initial velocity at an angle of theta. And we want to find out what is the vertical component of the velocity of the ball when it strikes the surface at V. So we want to find out the vertical velocity at V. So we just fire. Uh, that is our datum line is here, it's zero. It just has to pass over one half meter wall and then strike the ground somewhere at D. This is the distance and that point. So we need to find out the vertical velocity of the ball which hits the ground at D. Um, by conservation of energy, uh, we know that uh, kinetic at A plus potential at A is equal to the same at, oops, uh, that is A, at B plus B plus kinetic at D plus potential at D. So the energy is conserved at every stage. So the sum of these energy at each stage should be equal to the other stage. So like for example, at stage A, I have the kinetic energy. It is mv squared, but I don't have any potential energy because the, the elevation is just zero, plus zero. Uh, but at point B, I have kinetic and uh, potential. So at point A, it is half m is 2 kilogram and v is like 10 meter per second squared plus 0 is equal to half m. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to sub in the values. 2 velocity at b squared plus uh, potential at b is um, 2 g is 9.81 and the height is just 1.5 so 1.5 from here easily i can find that velocity at b is uh, 8.401 meter per second so that is my first thing i need to find out this angle as well by trigonometry it's easy to find out the angle of the ball that it's been shoot so the theta is equal i will go with tangent you can go with cosine or sine or whatever but you need to find out the hypotenuse as well the tangent of theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent so this is 1.5 over 2 uh, so from here we find out that the theta is, I need to say tan inverse, the theta is uh, 36.87 degrees. That is our theta. The other things we need to know is that the time, oops, time in the air for the ball, time in the air. Uh, you know that it doesn't matter whether how we calculate the time in the air because when the ball is going to the air so it just stay there whether you can calculate it from the vertical or from the horizontal you will get the answer if i'm just going to go from the from the horizontal i would get um, s is equal to s naught plus v naught p uh, so here I do not have this S, I don't have the position. But if I'm going to go from the vertical, I will get S is equal to S naught plus V naught T plus half A T squared. Here I will get, uh, when the ball is here, um, I know the height is minus 1.5 is equal to s naught uh, my initial speed is like the i get it here 
8.41 I need to because it's here I need to just get it with sine theta sine of the angle 36.87 I don't have t plus half here a the acceleration is the just the gravitational force which acts the in the opposite way so it is minus 9.81 times t squared so whatever value i got i got this one uh, the whole this value is like 5.440 t plus that one is 4.905 t squared uh, so now here we have a quadratic. Um, this is our A component, this is our B, and this is our C. And you know that. Uh, now we want to find the T. The T would be minus B plus or minus B squared minus 4AC over 2A. Oops. 2A. And so if you just sub in the value because it's going to get in long if I just going to do this quadratic for you, the time in the air for the ball would be 1.269 seconds. And now if I just sub in this value to this one here, I can easily find out the position S is equal to S naught. Uh, which is this value instead of yep and then plus plus v node sorry s0 is 0 as a v node t and i've got t here so the value of the f for s would be 8.5256 meter Uh, so as I said in the beginning, I said the energy is conserved, so whatever I get for this T and for the whole energy at point A is equal to the whole energy at point D. So I will go with that strategy or that thought. So um, I would say, we'll just bring it up here. So T A plus B A is equal to T at D plus potential at D. So I've got them here. Um, at point D, uh, there is no actually potential because there is no elevation. Again, that is gone. So from here, I can easily get the, what was that? Half um, M v squared 10 is equal to half m v j squared so from here i would get easily the vd is 10 meter per second and as i said so we find that that the velocity at d is equal to 10 meter per second um, velocity at dy if you want to find out the vertical component of velocity at d is equal to as i come conservation of energy velocity at dy plus gt so vd times sine theta plus and uh, that is 9.81 times and I, we got the time in the air at 1.2695. So velocity at D Y is equal to 7.405 meter per second. So which is the vertical velocity at 